to our ABC News exclusive with the college friends and wrestlers who were attacked by a bear in Wyoming. They fought it off, and this morning they're sharing their story. Mola Lange joins us with more about how they survived and got away. Good morning, Mola. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, these guys are lucky to be alive and they know it. They tell me that at one point they were convinced that one of them wasn't going to make it, that he was dead. But his teammates, his friends, they wouldn't let that happen. Just for us to walk out of there alive, all four of us, it's a miracle. It really is with the situation we were in with. This morning, four college wrestlers grateful to be alive and for each other after perhaps their toughest match going toe to toe with a grizzly bear. I just knew I had to protect my head and and just kind of fight for life. You know, it's life or death. Northwest College students Braden Lowry, Kendall Cummings, August Harrison, and Oren Jackson were searching for fallen antlers in Wyoming's Shoshone National Forest on Saturday when all of a sudden Lowry and Cummings came face to face with the bear. The bear pounced, tackling Lowry first. The bear came running out of the trees. I. I didn't even see it until it was right in front of me, but I heard the crashing and and the only thing I could yell was bear, bear, and I yelled bear and the bear tackled me first. Seeing his teammate being mauled, Cummings took the fight to the bear, yelling, punching, and grabbing it until the bear turned on him. It knocked me onto the ground and then with its head pushed me on the ground all the way up against the trees and then kind of pinned me up there and it was uh, attacking me for a second. It was, I was putting my hands in its mouth and stuff so it wouldn't be chewing on my neck and everything. The bear finally walking away, but the horror not over. Just when they thought they were clear, the bear returned. I called out to Brady. I was like, Brady, you all right? Where you at, Brady? And then I didn't hear nothing from Brady, but I heard the bear kind of grunting behind me and I heard it walking. And then I saw it again and it came and it attacked me again. Eventually, Lowry and Cummings able to escape, calling 911 and reuniting with their teammates. I spoke with the lady on the phone, the dispatch lady, and we kind of coordinated a plan to get the flight for life there. I remember telling her, that's our brother up there. Cummings airlifted to Billings Clinic Hospital, getting 60 staples in his head. Lowry taken to the same hospital by ambulance, treated for a compound fracture in his left arm. You surprised to hear that they fought for each other the way they did? No, no, not at all, not at all. I, I, you know, growing up in a wrestling world, it's just the kind of brotherhood that there is. They'll fight for each other. Experts saying the outcome could have been much worse if they didn't have each other. And the two against one seemed to, you know, tip the scales to their advantage, and he was very lucky to chase the bear off that way. Now, as they recover, broken and bloody, their friendship stronger than ever. I'm happy that everyone's here and everyone's all right. Well, in the last few weeks, there has been an increase in reported bear activity in this region, especially at low elevations, according to the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. They tell me that that is common this time of year as bears are more active in their search for food, guys. Oh, it's, thank you. Just I even can't thinking even about it. Yeah. That is imagine. frightening. Thank goodness they're all okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.